I free flipped it. You tray flipped the spoon. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, Casey. Hey. How are you? Smoothie drinking cold. It's good. okay. You're allowed to drink a smoothie. There's nothing wrong with smoothies, man. I'm cold, but I'm good. You, you're. I'm very cold. <laughs> yes. Well, hopefully these can warm you up. Uh, they probably will. They might. Um, so you are like one of my more requested uh, returns to my channel when it comes Great. to hot sauce. I don't like getting hurt from things that I eat. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the good news is, is that I, I, I truly do not believe that any of these things are going oh. to hurt you. I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> I think today's sauces are going to be more about that flavor. What? He pulled out the knife. And I was oh, like, that might hurt me. I know, right? <laughs> I think that... I think today's gonna be more about flavor than it is heat. And I mean, hot sauce doesn't have to be super, super hot. <laughs> so we have we have three sauces today from Voodoo. <laughs> we have three sauces today from Voodoo Chili. Who? Th <laughs> it's four. We have we have three hot sauces today from Voodoo Chili. And I, I to this I have not had a bad sauce from this company have as I, yet. Have I had Voodoo Chili? Before? I don't think you've ever had Voodoo Chili hot sauces before, but they make a very good product. Um, they focus in on um, like uh, they they've done collaborations with some breweries. So they've done some beer hot sauces, some beer inspired hot sauces, There's also some some bacon inspired hot sauces. And there's not a ton of like well done bacon hot sauces on the market. I don't and think I've they, ever had a bacon. Hot I know sauce. they're they're very interesting and they're very savory. And and this company that makes them does a really good job. So we have uh, Chipotle bacon hot sauce. It's called Over the Line. We have Porkus, the original gourmet bacon hot sauce. This is like I think this is like their flagship. It's the OG like, product, bacon like sauce. the original sauce that they did, I think. And they have Freak Show, which is like their Verde, and I hear amazing things from this one, so I'm very intrigued by this one. So, anyways. Where would you like to start? I'm gonna start here. Green. Green? And then Green what's number two? I mean, let's just go this way. Let's go that way? Like, okay. Oh, I was telling Brian too, everyone. <laughs> uh, on the last episode or video that I was on with you, I said that I didn't like taking spoonfuls of sauces, and I couldn't quite think of why I didn't like doing it, and I figured out it's because it reminds me of taking medicine. What? Really? So, like, the, the texture and amount that I have to put on a spoon reminds me of when so I had to take... Uh, I understand. A bunch of I understand so, that. I get it. You don't have to. It I mean, puts me in, the, in a weird mindset. I mean, I'll do it, but it's you, don't, just, you don't have to do a full spoonful. You don't want to, but I mean, more power to you if you do. My sister really enjoyed taking cough syrup. She thought it was really. really? Good. I hated. That's cough interesting. Syrup. This is Freak Show. Freaks are uh, freaks are unusual, bizarre, and uncanny. So too is this sauce you're holding. Step through the veil of unexpected and treat your taste buds to an exquisite display of the extraordinary. That's a dun dun dun. Good description. Yeah, I know, right? Ingredients: fire roasted jalapenos, water, tomatillos. Apple cider vinegar, serrano peppers, lime juice, habanero peppers, toasted garlic, onion, cilantro, Himalayan pink salt, coriander seed, yeast extract, apazote, and the anemone, uh, citric acid, and absorbic acid. Refrigerate after opening. <laughs> do you read the label on every single one you do? I try to, man. So are you uh, put hot sauce in the refrigerator or hot sauce not? I put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge. Well, I, I, before I open it. I leave it just on pantry, but okay. Is this but after come out on a spoon? Oh, oh, it's gonna come out, <laughs> dude. That is a there's a lot of texture going on with that. Oh yeah, it's fine. Tasting vinegar, smelling well, vinegar. Going from a, a green smoothie to salsa is a weird not, like sensation in your nose. It's, it's almost has like the consistency of salsa. Like there is a like seeds, lots of seeds going on in this. Oops, it's on my table now. Right. <laughs> I'm smelling roasted jalapenos. That's like number one what I'm getting. Cheers. Roasted. Cheers. You can like chew. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> you can like chew this sauce. Yeah, I and did I, chew it. And I, I did, I did too actually, and I love that. Um, a that's like of, a salsa to me more than it is a hot. It sauce. is almost it's as like hot consistency of the, salt, of the salsa. Well, there's like there's some habanero going on in there, you know what I'm saying? And some really serrano. Good. Um, I'm getting the flavor of jalapeno and the, immediately like like roasted jalapeno. In a fabulous way, and then I think really, like really good. oh, it's so good. <laughs> and I think like the the heat from Serrano's are coming next, and then maybe like the lingering from the habanero. I'm not tasting a lot of habanero that is, though. That is a taco hot sauce. I've oh, dude, for sure, chicken tacos or pork or something like that. It's so good, for sure. <clears throat> this is incredibly good. I think I'm getting a lot of the tomatillos too, which is like like a lot of this like bright sort of flavor to it. I. I'm a huge fan of the sauce. Um, it is hotter than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, I was going like, to say it's it says mild. Yeah, on they it. labeled mild. That is hotter <coughs> than a normal hot sauce. Yeah, and I would say this is not mild. Like I'm fine, but I would say this is a relatively hot sauce. Like it's it is warm. It's doing that thing like when you breathe in something hot, it still lingers. There. Absolutely, like, man. Like, like I can feel, I can feel it, on feel it. it. I can feel the tip of my tongue and the top of my mouth has got some like 
some heat going on. This one surprised me in a good way. Yeah, I love it. Good okay. job, freak show. Uh, moving on, we have Over bacon. the Line Chipotle Bacon Hot Sauce. What is that cover, by the way? What is? <laughs> I don't know who's on the cover of that. I should, I should know. Well, let's see here. Does Looks like the dude from the room, Tommy Wiseau. I know, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, Smokey's foot probably wasn't over the line, but this hot sauce sure is. There's an inside joke that I'm not, or a joke I'm not getting here. Uh, premium chipotle and scotch bonnet peppers, and the intense bacony goodness that only voodoo chili can deliver. Just buy it, take it home, and enjoy. Give the achiever in you something sweet, something sweat and smiled. Something sweet. Something sweat and smile about. Give the something achiever in you something, something to, to sweat, sweat and yeah. smile about. I think Typos. There's a, I think there's a typo on this. <clears throat> All right, fill me up. So this has got scotch bonnets in it, so this actually might have a little bit of heat going scotch on. Scotch bonnets? Scotch bonnets, yeah. That is. It's, a hot, it's, a, it's a hotter pepper. Surprise me. So this might have a little bit more heat than cool. we were originally thinking. But you yeah. As long as the bacon flavor doesn't taste greasy, I'll be okay. Oh, i got to get into the ingredients. It won't. Okay. I've had their salt, it doesn't taste greasy. Uh, ingredients, tomato sauce, uh, tomato paste, onion powder, salt, salt, garlic powder, citric, uh, all right, pepper blend. The pepper blend is chipotle's cayenne and scotch bonnets, apple cider vinegar, red peppers, sugar, spices, salt, onion, toasted garlic, ham flavoring, citric acid, ham. <laughs> natural flavors, and baby, bacon flavoring. And baby flavoring. Weird. Yes. I know, right? Is this going to come out? Yeah, it is. Hey, this one's actually a sauce texture. Look at that. Oh, I don't know, man. It might come. It might start coming thicker then. Give it a little tap, man. Ba -ba -boo there we go. Ah! I don't want that chunky. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good amount, man. Is it? I think it's a, I mean, it's a... Can I see it? It looks like barbecue sauce. It does. It does have a barbecue sauce. Uh, I'm smelling bacon. Like, I'm smelling like all bacon. Like, for sure, bacon. I'm hoping that the chipotle comes through. I think this is going to be high in sugar. I think the sugar content on this is high. It's a thicker sauce. I licked mine already. All right. Uh, cheers. There's a crunchy aspect to it. Yeah, there's... There's a crunchiness in here. What a weird... <laughs> that is very odd. That would be the uh, the toasted garlic. Like, the toasted garlic is, is literally crunchy. I've never had that in a yeah, hot sauce before. Yeah, that was like... Before. It crunched like a chip. Yeah. That like, was really weird. I'm, I'm okay with it, though. <laughs> My mouth just went like... <laughs> I know, it was like a, like a super roller coaster. I've God. never had, I've never had a, a crunchy aspect to a hot sauce. Um, but um, the, 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 the Chipotle actually... <laughs> yeah, little, yeah. Little hard piece on there. The Chipotle actually came through for me. Like, uh, yeah, Chipotle number one, and then bacon was actually more subtle than I thought it was going to be because yes. it smelled so intensely it's, like it bacon. It smelled very bacony, and it tasted a lot better than Le it smelled. Exa well, exactly. It was like the bacon flavor was way less subtle than the smell. Um, another interesting, interesting sauce. I've never had a sauce quite like this before. I, I, this I, was hotter. Yeah, that, that was hotter for sure. That was hotter. <laughs> Even though this does have some um, some heat to it. Let's see if they have the heat listed on here. They don't have a, a heat recommendation. Probably a, I don't, on a scale of 1 to 15, probably like a 6. No, 4. Yeah, like a 4. Out of, out of 15? Out of 15? Yeah, out of 15. I'll say, I, I do my scale like 1 to 10. <laughs> I do. I like to do one to seventeen scales. Perfect. That's perfect. the Casey scale. All right. On a one to seventeen, I'd give it like a, a five. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. pretty good. Okay. So the last sauce, and probably the mildest. Um, this is a uh, porkus, the original gourmet bacon hot sauce. Let's say it's mild on their side. <laughs> so did that one. Yes, it did. <laughs> uh, praised by chefs and pitmasters alike, the world's best bacon hot sauce, bar none. Intense flavors of bacon, ham, tomato, onion, and spices combined with, for a true breakfast, lunch, and dinner sauce. Each bottle contains the souls of six tormented swine. Simply awesome on eggs, pulled pork, chicken, hot dogs, ribs, burgers, hot dogs, pizza, wings, and your favorite Bloody Mary, and much more. I've never been cold and hot like this at the same time. <laughs> from your, from my smoothie from still, smoothie. but my insides feel hot from what I'm eating. <laughs> I had the Bacon Extreme version of this. I'm making a mess. I'm making such a mess. I've had the Bacon Extreme version of this, and it is fantastic. It did not last long. I made it. That's how you open it, dude. I loosened it for you. Thanks, man. Can you guys smell it? It's the loosest sauce Put your so nose far. up to the screen and smell. But it has, I can tell it's got, it's you, got there's, a there's a level of thickness to it. That's, that's too much. It's not too much, man. Cheers. Cheers. A uh, very mild uh, uh. sauce. Um, it, I'm getting mostly tomato. That's like the first thing I'm getting. Okay, strong tomato. Right away, bacon. I got it right away. And then it just sits in your mouth and it's like tomato-y, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. I, 
This is like you know, like the flavor that you get from like I don't know like ham and beans almost like ham and beans ham and beans. There's like a, like canned ham and beans like I've sauce. never ham and beans is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. I've never had that. You never had ham and beans before? No. Or pork and beans? I, okay, pork and beans. Pork and beans. <laughs> pork and ham beans. beans. That's that. That's the flavor that I'm like I'm getting with this. This I, is I never had that. Very 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 mild. Um, yeah, there's no heat at all. To it. Zero heat, basically. I'm getting tomato, and then immediately I'm getting like, well, tomato and ham kind of came like and bacon. <laughs> tomato and bacon. <laughs> and kinda, beans. Tomato and bacon kind of came like together simultaneously and immediately for me with this. Um, I'm putting this on on eggs. I'd put it on. I'd, I'd put it on that bacon. Is, you know, like, put it on bacon. I, absolutely, I would like dip my bacon in the sauce. Now I want to put this like on an omelet. You know, like, good. or if I was making. If I was making chili or something like that, that I would put like, too. this could be like, you could use an entire bottle of this in a chili recipe. I think this, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for this to complement and make other dishes slightly more elevated. Anything that anything that you can make with like tomatoes in it, it could mm -hmm. be really good. I want to cook so. with it. I think this would be perfect in yes. chili. Like in literally like an entire bottle of this in chili. Like use it as an ingredient, you know? I gotta say, man, this is the winner. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that is 100% the winner. I think for sure, this is like probably one of the best Verde hot sauces I've ever that's, had. That's my favorite Verde hot, it's, hot sauce I've ever it's had. It's incredibly good. Um, it has the thickness of almost like almost it like a, be a salsa. A little less chunky. No, I love it like that, man. Okay, I well. love the texture to it. I love the consistency. I think just me. I, I I generally want all of my hot sauces to have like a level a of texture. You know, like I don't yeah. like them when they like they're super poor. You know? Yeah. Like I like this one. Well, it it pour it, a little it, bit too much. It, it does. You know, like that's what I'm saying. Like I just. I want to use that as an ingredient in something like chili or something like that because say, there's that looseness, you know? I will say this one was fun to have a crunch in a hot sauce. I know, dude. It was, it was really good. weird. It was interesting. It was like, I've never had crunchy. that, but I, I think that's the toasted, gar what is it, toasted garlic? Toasted garlic just literally has like a crunch factor mm -hmm. to it. And I've it never good. experienced that before in my life. I like that it a lot. It tasted like a toasted crouton. I know, right? Or the texture did. It was good. One. It was good, man. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you to the fine people at uh, Voodoo Chili for making some fantastic sauce. Uh, yeah. Thomas Toth, the owner, for sending these over. Um, he is a wonderful guy and very, very active in the chili community. Very smart individual. Phenomenal. Um, making that great sauces. I'll put a link to uh, their website in the description below. Casey, thank you again for yep. joining me. You're the best. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.